Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Peter's Home Projects. Um, you guys asked me for an update, so I've got an update for you. On this moment, I only made one upgrade on my Hypercube. Um, it took me a while to figure out that I actually needed this one. I switched out this 30 millimeter fan duct with a 40 millimeter one. Um, the reason for that, I had a lot of problems involving clogging uh, and it, was, it turned out that this little thing just couldn't handle the heat. I'm printing uh, PETG right now and I got higher temperatures of the bed, so to keep everything nice and cool I had to install a bigger fan. This is a Noctua fan, these are incredibly silent, I'll post the link in the description. Uh, the only thing that I had to do was print out a 40 to 30 millimeter adapter and just stack it on top of it and now everything is nice and cool and I can actually print longer prints now. That was the first upgrade that I made on the Hypercube, the second one I'll be doing with you guys and that's installing these guys. These are 12 millimeter Igus bearings, I heard a lot of good things about them. I want to convince myself, so I'm going to do it with you guys. We are going to print out a calibration cube, like you can see here, with the regular bearings. And after I install these, I will print out the same cube, the same STL file, and see if it actually is any better. I do it got a little bit of wobble on my Z axis, and I hope that these can fix this. So to install them on the Hypercube, I had to adjust my STL file for the Z-bracket. Uh, these are slightly bigger, so I had to adjust the gap right here. This part is available on my Thingiverse page if you guys want to install them. And I am pretty happy with them. So let's mount it on the Hypercube and see if it makes a difference. So the brackets are in place, you can see the red brackets right now, this means that the IGUS bearings are installed. It took a little bit longer because I had to adjust also the space between the motors and stuff like that because those uh, IGUS bearings or bushings are just a little bit bigger. So right now, as you can hear, he is heating up. Um, so we are going to print out the second uh, calibration cube. Also a thing that I did while I was at it was installing some uh, a little LED strip. It was very easy, I just pushed it into the T-slot and I connected it directly to my power supply. So let's check out the calibration cube. Okay, so here are the results. This was the calibration cube that I printed before I switched out the bearings. And as you can see, I have some issues right here with having straight lines from top to bottom and in between 
some of the layers are acting weird. I thought it was due to settings, but right now, with my IBIS bearings, you can see it's a very clean result that I got here on the front. Also, if you switch it to the side, you can see right here I'm having those artifacts and they were because of the bearings. Right now, all the lines on the new cube are very straight. If you put them side to side, I don't know if you guys can see it, but this is a very straight line comparing to this one right here, as you can see in the back there. So, is this worth it? Uh, in my opinion, yes. Well guys, that's it. I'm pretty happy with the results. This cube looks awesome. Uh, I already broke down the other one by accident because I wanted to see how durable those lines were. I won't be using these ones anymore. If I knew it before, I would never bought these, to be honest. The only thing that I still have to check is the durability of these bearings, bushings. Um, we'll see in the future. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or suggestions or comments, there's a section below where you can, where you can feel free to post anything you ever want. Um, also, keep a close eye on the channel because starting tomorrow we are going to have a very big project coming up. So, stay tuned, thanks for watching and see you in my next videos.